Hey guys, this is Sam Weiss with Bluecraft. Today I'm going to give you an overview of mockup, the web versions. To start, we can look on the left. We have some menus here that are helpful. In file, you can save and you can open models that you've already made. You can export to mockup pro, import and export STLs. In add, this is where we're going to spend some time. You can make groups to organize things. You can make wings, propellers, different shapes, and some lighting. So we're going to start with the wing. On the right here, you see that we have a number of menus. These menus kind of work top to bottom, help you to define your aircraft and then analyze it in the end. We have our component tree that shows all your objects and what's connected to what. So in object, we can rename our lifting surface. We'll call this one main. You can define what it's connected to. In this case, my airplane is the origin. So we'll leave it connected to the origin. It's position relative to what it's connected to. You can change that position here or by dragging the arrows. Underneath object, we have geometry. This is where you specify all the geometry of your lifting surface. By checking main wing, it means that you're using that area or the area of that lifting surface as part of the characteristic area to non-dimensionalize all your parameters. You can make the lifting surface a left or a right. You can do a Y offset from the center. It's a symmetric displacement different from the y position. We'll put that back to zero. You can select the span, maybe we'll put five for this, and mounting angle, maybe five degrees, amount of washout, you'll notice here if I look on this side, I'll put a ton of washout so we can see it twists that wing tip. We'll go ahead and put it two degrees for now. The amount of sweep, we're gonna do a delta wing or flying wing today, so we're gonna put a lot of sweep in there, and then just a, a little bit of dihedral. So you can see we're already starting to take shape. The root airfoil and the tip airfoil, we can specify some numbers for that. We're going to go ahead and put in maybe 0.4. There we go. And here you can specify the parameters for your lifting surfaces. At the top you see for graphics only which airfoil to use. You can put any four-digit NAC in here and it will work. So I could put in a symmetric airfoil just to show. You can see how it changed right there, I could put an even bigger one if we wanted. You see how there's a symmetric NACA airfoil. Um, all the parameters below here, however, are what are actually used to do the analysis on the aircraft. This is data that you can get from websites like airfoiltools.com. So we'll go ahead and leave all that alone. Again, the wingtips, same stuff. And the span Y segments is how many how many times we cut up this wing when we analyze it, 40 is a pretty good number. And then control surface. So we're gonna click, yes, this lifting surface has a control surface. Here you can change all the, the values for that control surface. I'm gonna go ahead and put in a root span ratio of maybe 0.5. We'll have a tip span ratio of one. It can go all the way out to the tip. We'll leave the flat fractions at the root and tip. And then this is the mixing. So when you deflect the elevator, how much um, how much of, does this surface actually deflect? So this is going to be an elevator and a little bit of ailerons. Well, we'll do all the ailerons. So now with this flying wing, we can deflect the ailerons or the elevator and it will mix appropriately. So that's the geometry. We'll close that. Actually, we'll win geometry. Let's go ahead and add some wing tips. We're going to add some wing tips there. I'm going to Call this wing tip, and we're going to connect it to main. We're going to leave the position, come here to geometry, put the dihedral up to 90. Oh, there they are. Take the span down to 0.5, take the tip cords to maybe 0.2, and we'll put some sweep, some more sweep on them. Yeah, maybe 35 degrees. Perfect. So now we have wingtips as well. We'll make sure down here, it they do not have control surfaces, so we'll get rid of that. All right, so now we have a flying wing. The material, you can select um, a part and just change the color, just kind of change the viewing for, for the aircraft. So we'll just make it orange for, for now. Condition, this is where you specify its angle of attack, we'll put that at five, a side slip angle, um, and then the deflection of all your surfaces. So like, I'll show you here that the mixing, I'll put the elevator at 15, 
you can see that it deflected the you know both of those down at 15. And then I can put ailerons at maybe 30 degrees, and you can see it changed that deflection, increasing the deflection of the one and decreasing that of the other. So they're mixed, mixed properly. In reality, we'll put this down to maybe five degrees and put this down to maybe 10 degrees. So there you can see the control surface is deflecting. So that's the condition, and now we'll go to the analysis. There are a number of different functions you can run, forces and moments, derivatives, aerodynamic center, stall and distribution. I'm just gonna show you a few that I think are important. So with all of them, you can update results. It does it some math, and it shows you some of the main parameters. And then all of them, you can go ahead and save results, and it will allow you to download a file. You can change the name if you like, but it allow you to download a file with all of the the detailed data of the results from that analysis that you ran. Derivatives will, of course, give you the performance derivatives, really useful in the aircraft design. And if we go down here, aerodynamic center, you can go ahead and run that. And it's really useful because it shows you the aerodynamic center is a sphere here as it relates to the, this is the center of gravity. So we can, we can tell if we're stable or not. I'm gonna push that center of gravity back. There you go. The other functions here are helpful. Stall onset just does this alpha sweep for the aircraft and lets you know at what point along the wing does the CL of that, of that wing section exceed that of the airfoil max CL. And distributions outputs a file, a text file, that lets you look at the detail of the forces and the moments um, along the wing that is really useful in the structural design of aircraft. So you can see that in various maneuvers, how the lift is distributed across the wing. So there's your quick summary of mock-up. I hope you enjoyed. It's an incredible tool. And if you have any questions, please contact us so that we can best help you out. Thanks.